It's Siren 2 time as we are playing a new level of Takiyake Misawa. Last time we saw him, he was popping pills and acting all weird. And he saw a little girl, or at least what he thought was a little girl, but she wasn't actually there. It was just Takiyaki's PTSD as he remembers rescuing... Uh, well, you remember, he remembers what happened immediately after, en after the end of Siren 1. And he was seeing some things. And those things have been haunting him all this time. When was that? That was 4 o'clock. <clears throat> We're at 13 o'clock, so several hours later. Let's see how he's doing. In nothingness. So far away, the sign. So Takiyaki heard someone, and as we see here, he heard Ichiko. He was lying on his back, looking up at the clouds, <clears throat> and through the clouds, he saw the island. So far away, can't get there. How would you get there? Right now we have to escape from the fort ruins. Okay, make sure that Ichiko is safe from the Yamabito. So... There's a new enemy type. This is the first level that's going to introduce him. Takiyaki to jump into action. Right. <laughs> She's pushing us. She's kind of freaking out. Well, we'll just go after her and make sure she's safe. Alright, so Yamabito, just like how the Shirio possess corpses and make Shibito, the uh, Yami Rei that we were recently introduced to, they can possess corpses too, and Results in the Yamabito. So we do have to chase her around. To get her to leave the level. Oh, hold on. There you go. All right. No, there's like a hole right there. You can go through. And she's going. Alright, she's off. Now we have to escape from the Fort Ruins. Alright, new enemy. Yamabito. What are they? Well, they're fast. Much faster than the Shibito. But, they don't like light. So an advantage that we have is that we can just we can stun them for a bit by shining a flashlight at them. All right, what do we have to do? Let's go here and see what we have. Let's take stock. We've got quite a bit of bullets for our gun. It says it just says escape from the fort ruins. Doesn't say that we need to do anything else. The exit, well, actually, the exit is where Ichiko just went to. There's this wall right here. She crawled through a hole and then ran off in this direction. But 
Takayaki cannot crawl through that hole. He is far too big. So he's going to have to get up to a higher elevation right there, which allows him to drop off to where Ichiko went. So we have to get here. We have to work our way around. We're going to have to go down underground and then come out above ground at a higher elevation. Let's get let's let's do it. Let's make to do this thing. Make it happen. First, also, let's go to this power station. Breaker's been broken. Okay, so we can't do anything with that right now. And turning that on does not do anything for for Takiyaki here. So yeah, the Yamabito, considerably faster than the Shibito, but like I said, they do have that one specific weakness. And of course, the Yami Ray, they do not like light either. We'll just ignore them if we can. See, if I sneak up on him, and then get him with this. With the flashlight. He doesn't like that! So strategic use of the flashlight is useful here. Alright, so where do we want to go? Can we... Let's see. I guess we want to go through the bunker. Or we could go down to the lowest level, go around to the other side. Let's try that. The flashlight does not stun the Yamabito indefinitely, just for a couple seconds. So you do want to use that at the proper time. Look, this, this is all full up. Look how full this is. Check our map. I think we're heading in the right direction. Oh, he has a... Uh, you might notice here... He has smoke candles, which... Whoops. Someone's right on me. Which are smoke bombs. And they can hide you. I don't use them often. I don't find too many uses for them. But there are some cases where you might want to use them. Let's see if this is open up. No. This is the caved-in passageway. That Shigeru used a shovel to dig a little hole through, but... Takiyaki does not have that. You might notice the Yami Ray more numerous and aggressive than the Shirio tend to be. So the difficulty of the game does kind of increase at this point due to how, well, annoying the Yami Ray are. Someone's Can I get away from who's ever shooting? Okay, good, we did. There's the, the scenic tower going up to the red light in the sky that we've seen on occasion. Right. I believe this is where we need to be. Let's look at our map. Yep. So we're standing on a high elevation. We can drop down. There's the wall that Ichiko went through. And then we can follow her into that tunnel to get out of the level. Mission accomplished. No cutscene. That just goes directly to Mamaru. But uh, let's take a look at this. All right, his mission two is available. The description of nothingness says Takayaki lies gazing at a sky that reflects the real island like a mirror. From out of nowhere, he hears the shout of a girl. So this is basically confirming that 
the island that Takayaki saw through the clouds is actually the real world. We were told earlier that everyone is in a a world that is a copy of the real world. So you can see the real world through the sky. You can see it. It's just you can't get to it, but it's there. Let's see. Did we get any archive items here? Uh, no, no archive items. But even though we finished this level, uh, I think we do need to do some cleanup. Because when we did Takayake's Mission 2 here at 4 o'clock, I missed an archive item. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible. We need, to, we need to go get that. We need to go get it back. So we're going to do go back here to find this, this archive item. So this is the apartments. This is the housing level where we had to reunite with the girl. All right. You know, I ran right by the archive item. Why don't you like it? I just forgot it was there. Well, okay, let's do it. Because, of course, as you know, we need to get the collectibles. Let's get this key. There's going to be someone around this corner, so let's get their attention. There we go. Coming. Yeah, the boy's coming. <laughs> Someone saw me. Let's evade. And we need to turn this on. Except there's no time to waste. You know, this is probably the most annoying message in this game. You need to do something, but because a Shibito saw you, there's no time to waste. It turned out fine, though. Uh-oh. Uh maybe, maybe not, because someone sees me. that guy hear that? No, he didn't. Okay. That guy is just checked out. Oh, someone up here? Well, I know someone's up here, but did someone see me? Oh, hello. You know, I pressed switch weapon. Why did I do that? Okay, it, it worked out. It was fine. Got to get this wire. Go. You remember what we, what we had to do in this level? We filled a room with gas. Then we get the wire connected to the detonator for the purpose of blowing up a door. out there? No, that guy's not up. Nope. That guy's not up yet, but someone else sees me. Get someone's attention? Just, no, there, yep, that guy, oh, a Shirio just pushed me out into the open. Okay. We'll, st well, okay, we'll start that again. Things can go wrong quite easily.
guess I might as well do this guy while I'm out here. Okay, okay. Is he behind this door? Yep, he is. He's behind this door. Hello. Okay, it's around. There we go. Didn't feel like that should have worked. Can I do the thing? There we go. Did the thing. Let's uh, switch weapons and pick this up. I don't think this guy comes down the stairs. I think he just stays there. Yeah, waiting. Coming. Actually, two someones are coming. Here comes some Shirio, so let's try to do this. All right, blow up this door. Bombs are the ultimate keys. me around the edge but we should start from the checkpoint and the checkpoint was when we blew up the wall someone's supposed oh, there we go he took a while Okay, that was the last obstacle. Now, what is the collectible we had to find? Well, over here, there is just like a filthy pot that has been left on the stove. We must inspect. A filthy pot. We got it. That's what we needed to find. That was the collectible. So now, we can just say, leave the stage. We don't have to beat it again. We got it. Let's take a look at the archive item that I missed. It's number 58. <clears throat> Yamanabe, because we inspected the kitchen. I mean, the pot looks a lot better than when we actually saw it in the game. 
a local specialty of Yamajima Island featuring ingredients obtained from the mountain and the sea. Local etiquette recommends that the dish be prepared without slicing or dicing and that it be enjoyed under the light of the moon. The delicious meal contains yamiyakibi, a, delic- a delicacy that induces intense euphoria, which, depending on the look of the eater, can also result in a very unpleasant morning. It's a very specific. Do not slice or dice. Make sure that you eat it during a night where there's a lot of, a lot of moonlight shining down. And also, good luck tomorrow morning. I don't... It, it seems like kind of a... It kind of seems like too much of a problem. I don't know. I mean, why? I don't know if I'd bother with that. Hmm. So, that was the archive item that we missed. Now... Oh, can we do this? No. That one does not exist yet. Oh, but Ichigo's second mission is now here. I don't think that was there before. I think that appeared now that we did Takeaki's first mission here. Anything? Let me pull. Let's pull out and uh, see if there's anything else. No. Okay, so it looks like the next thing we're doing, we're going back to Ichiko's level at the school, and we're going to do her mission two and see what else she might have to do there as we continue on with Siren 2.